Okay, in this tutorial we'll be uh, whitening teeth in the portrait. The very first thing that you want to do is uh, duplicate the layer that you have. So in the Layers panel, the shortcut for that would be the Command J key. So we're making a duplicate layer of our original. Uh, second thing that you want to do is uh, get in quite close um, in your view of your um, portrait's teeth. Right now you see that we're at 25%. You can use the Command plus key to move in forward, use the space bar to drag in, and right now we're at 100%. Uh, we can even zoom in a bit closer to get into the details of the face. Uh, we'll be using the sponge tool and the dodge tool to create the um, element of whitening the teeth. But before we do that, we first want to make a quick selection um, so that we're only making the effect to the area that uh, are the teeth. So you just simply click on the Quick Selection tool. Make sure that uh, Auto Enhance is selected. Um, you can use the left or right brackets to make your brush larger or smaller. And then just simply select the areas to which you want the teeth. Um, you can get some of the gum areas as well. You want to try to avoid um, parts of the lips. And as you notice with the Auto Enhance, when I moved across, parts of the lips were selected, but then after I selected it, uh, those areas were deselected. If you do have an area that um, you go too far, like this area here, you can just simply go to the Minus Selection tool and then just move over and make a selection off of the um, section there. Okay, once that is selected, you can press the Command H key to hide that selection when you're working with this. So you notice that Command H reveals that selection, Command H hides that selection. So now all we're going to be doing is affecting that layer. We'll move next to the section here for the sponge tool. So um, towards the bottom of your menu, you'll notice that there's a sponge tool. We have um, several different modes up here for saturate or desaturate. We actually want to desaturate the yellow of the teeth. Um, our flow, we can lower the flow maybe somewhere just uh, above 30%. Make sure that vibrance is selected. And then at this stage, you're just simply making a selection, dragging across the areas of the teeth um, from the top and the bottom, moving it back and forth. You don't want to get to the point where it's too white, so it's unrealistic, but just enough for it to start to show um, the white of the teeth. You can then click on the um, visibility of that layer to see the before and after. That's looking very nice. And then the next stage is to enhance that a bit further by going to the Dodge tool. Okay, I'm making that a little bit wider. So you want to have a very low exposure. Make sure that Protect Tones is selected as well. And then just at the bottom of the top of the teeth, you can then just drag across and just highlighting this a little bit further to make that lighter. Uh, clicking on the visibility, you see the, the before and after. A good way to make sure that everything looks good is to look at the image overall, at the full size, look at the before and after, looking at it at different vantage points up close, before and after, and a wonderful smile from there. So using the sponge and dodge tool in your layers panel um, to select and whiten teeth.